Kentucky. <laughs> Hi there, my name is George Aranda and I'm a research fellow at Deakin University working in science education. I'm here to talk to you about giving our primary school teachers experience in the exciting world of 3D printing. 3D printers work much in the same way as regular printers, but instead of printing a layer of ink, they print a layer of plastic or metal or even chocolate, depending on the type of 3D printer you have. As these layers are printed on top of each other, they can print simple or complex forms. 3D printing technology was developed in the 1980s, but it's only in the last decade that 3D printing has become more affordable and more widely used. 3D printing is already used to print spare parts on the International Space Station, to print homes in China using concrete 3D printers, to print innovative fashion designs, to print customised mesh casts for broken limbs that heal faster than the old plaster ones, to print prosthetic limbs and even bones for humans. In fact, we are now able to print bone tissue and Australia has the first master's course in biofabrication in the world. This will allow us to print out breast tissue and muscle. And this is only a small taste of what 3D printing might mean for our future. But how can this be applied to education? Education, like other fields, benefits from technological developments, such as whiteboards, the internet and computer tablets. This project aims to look at how 3D printing technology can be used to help teachers teach science to primary school kids. When you start working with any new technology, you have to jump in and start playing around to see what you can do. At Deakin University, we can help teachers explore 3D printing technology and together discover ways to introduce their students to this technology that are different to books, computers or videos. For example, teachers would be able to print out models of different skulls from the animal world. With students, they could explore the structure and components of cells. They could design a more heat efficient house. And finally, they could allow students to design their own 3D objects and get experience with a whole new world of technology. For this project, we are asking for $5,000, which would allow us to buy two 3D printers. One would be given to a primary school, and the other be used at Deakin University. Together with enthusiastic teachers, it would allow exploration of the possibilities of 3D printing, with tech support and printing materials. For every additional $2,500, it would allow us to provide another 3D printer for another school, which the schools get to keep at the end of the project. With your help and the support of ThingLab, who are providing our 3D printers, we can help a whole new generation of primary school teachers get the most out of 3D printing and set their students down a new and exciting path. Thanks.